Did you stay in your hometown at all? Yeah, I stayed a couple of days. We tried to look around oh, what was all. left. It was looted. The house was looted. Uh, we saw the neighbors were wearing my father's suits, you know, and our furniture was in the neighbors' houses. What, what was I, the greeting? How did they greet you, your former neighbors? Well, they, uh, with an uh, air of uh, jealousy, I might say, uh, they uh, were very, they felt very guilty, you know, because they knew that will find things uh, in their possession, you know. Of course, they were saying that they wanted to save these things, you know, for the time that we get back. My brother and I, we had to look out for ourselves, you know, to make a living, so my brother got a job at my uncle's place uh, as a clerk in the office, and I was 16 years old. Uh, I, uh, I went to learn uh, to be a, a dental technician, you know, uh, in a dental laboratory. Mm -hmm. In February of 1948, the communists took over. Uh, you know, Russia succeeded to put in their puppet regimes in Prague. So the writing was on the wall for us to run again, you know. Uh, we did not wish to stay under any dictatorship anymore. We wanted to go to France, you know, because we knew that in France there were a lot of DPs uh, and uh, there were a lot of consulates, you know, and we considered to go to South America, wherever we can get a visa to settle away from, from Europe. But the French consulate in Prague wouldn't give you a visa to go, in, go into France because Paris and France was already crowded with, with refugees and with uh, foreigners. Unless I showed a visa, a destination, a transit visa they were giving to go through if you needed three or four days or a week to go to get, get a boat or a plane from, mm -hmm. from Paris to go to your final destination. So in Prague, we went up to Prague, and again, you know, these, some of the South American consulate officers were taking bribes, and we bought ourselves visas to go to Argentina. I had a visa to go to Paraguay, to Brazil. So I had three destinations where to go. With that, I went to the French consulate. Of course, they saw that I have a choice where to go. They granted me a visa in Paris for three days, stay three days in Paris. I had to show them also that I have a boat ticket okay. to go to Argentina. Okay, so all our savings, what we had money, we had to spend on a boat ticket and buy ourselves uh, these visas, you know. We ended up in Paris in 1948. The American joint helped us to get an extension. Uh, you know, we had to go to the police and we went first to the American joint, you know, to help ourselves because all the refugees, Jewish refugees, went to the American joint, and they they helped us to find a uh, so-called maison meublé, which was a uh, furnished apartment or a furnished was type of a hotel, mm -hmm. you know, where you had a little electric like range. Like a rooming yeah, house. Yeah. So I uh, my first extension was for one month in Paris. Eventually, I got another three months extension, my brother and I, my two sisters. So we spent a year in Paris, eventually. 